Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute beehive. Um, the actual beehive itself, the um, the sign and the rope that I used came from Dollar Tree, and the moss is from Dollar Tree. Now, this foam piece down here that it's setting on, that came from Walmart. The flowers are from Walmart, and the little bees are from Dollar General. Um, and it's a pretty good size. Look, if I put my hand <laughs> right here, you can see just how large this thing is. I mean, it's a pretty good size little little thingy there. Now, this video does have a lot of breaks in it, okay? There's a lot of steps to this. It's not difficult. There's just a lot of steps, like, you know, waiting for glue to set up, waiting for paint to dry, you know, stuff like that. So, please bear with me, and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty, y'all, let us get started. So first off, what you're going to need, one of these egg-shaped signs from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you can't find these in particular, they do have the big plastic eggs that's like wrapped in tinsel, you know, like how they have the, like the witch's hats and the hearts and then the bunny forms last year. They do have those as an egg shape. You can use that too. Just whatever you can find that's in the shape of an egg because it's near Easter and that's what's handy. So I have that. I also have some of this Dollar Tree nautical rope. Now at this exact moment, I don't know how many of these it's going to take to cover this. So I have three over here. We'll see when I'm done. I'll let you know how much I use. You're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. You're going to need some little bees. Now how cute are these guys? These came from Dollar General. I got a ton of these things last year and I was just in there earlier today and they had them again this year. So you can find these, like I said, a dollar at Dollar General, kind of like over with the like the spring and garden type decorations. That's where those are. You're going to need some black acrylic paint and then to decorate the top bottom. If you want to decorate it, you don't have to <laughs> um, some artificial flowers. Now, for this, I kind of want it to stand up on its own. I don't want to hang it on something or have to prop it up against something. So, I do have a block of floral foam. You know, you can get that at Dollar Tree as well. Whatever you have that you can use to make this stand up is fine. So, what I'm going to do after I get it wrapped is I'm going to stick it down in that block of floral foam. And because of that... I'm going to start the rope, not on the very bottom, because I want that part to go down in the foam. I'm going to start it right about here, and I'm just going to wrap it all the way around. Why didn't I have this open? I don't know. Throw that over there. And the reason I want this to be kind of freestanding is, remember these that I made, uh, was it last year? Year before last? Sometime I made these. <laughs> um... And I had the video for that as well. I know a lot of y'all have already seen this. But, you know, they sit on a table and are freestanding. And I want this one to kind of, you know, set up beside of it without having to hang up somewhere. So that's why I'm going to use the foam. If you don't have it, that's fine. You can just glue a loop of twine and make it hang. But what I'm going to do is, just in case I don't get my rope, close enough together so that you won't see this glitter. I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to make this the front of it. So let's see. I think I want, let's move this up. Let's see, just right about there. I think we'll be fine. And then that should be enough to like stick down in the foam. Why are you here? Oh my goodness. Let's see. So right there should be okay. And let me hold this up, make sure I got it straight. Probably not, but you know what? It'll be all right. Ooh, it looks pretty straight. <laughs> Go me. If it's not perfect, it's okay. You don't worry about it. Okay, so I have that there. And now I'm just going to take it and wrap it around, around, around. And then glue it down. I'm trying to wait for that glue to set up before I flipped it over so I don't glue it to the daggum table. Just like that. And just keep wrapping it around and around, gluing it down as you go. And then I'm going to work on that. And then when we come back, we'll make like the little entrance way for the bees. And I'll put one of these up. I've, like I said, I've got a handful. I'll see how many of these I want to put on there. But anyway, let me work on it and I'll be right back. Okay, so this whole thing has been covered in rope. And I used right at four of these. It wasn't quite the entire four, entire four packages, but eh. 
let's say four. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up so you can see it. And then I'm going to take something and I'm going to trace a circle. And that's going to be sort of like the little entrance way for our little bees. And I just have this roll of mesh here. And I think that that's going to be a pretty good size. So let me get my Sharpie here. And I'm just going to put this here and... I'm just tracing around it like that. Okay, now let's get this out of the way and put that back. So yeah, that's going to be the entrance for our bees. Now I'm going to take this black acrylic paint and I'm going to paint inside this circle. And then once I'm done painting it, we're going to take some more of this rope. Where did it go? Well, there's the end of it. Once I paint that circle and it dries, then we're going to glue some rope around here. Just kind of make it a little bit more pronounced. And yes, I'm the world's worst when it comes to pouring paint in my lids. But it's okay, because I'm going to rinse it out here in a little bit. So now we're just going to take the paint. On the little tiny one over here, I just used the Sharpie to color it in. But seeing as how this one is a little bit larger, I think I'm just going to use some of this paint. I'm just going to paint around it. Now you want to put the paint on before you glue your rope down around the edge. Just in case you get it on there. You don't have to worry about the rope being all glued down. And then getting paint all over it. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take some of these flowers. Where do my flowers go? Let me show you my flowers. These kind of like a mixture of sunflowers and some of these pretty little blue flowers. I got that at Walmart. So I'm going to be taking that apart and putting some up at the top. And I've been trying to think of a way to decorate the base, you know, because like I said, I want this to be freestanding. So what I have is this big, huge piece of floral foam. I've just had it laying around and it's not really been doing too much. So I'm going to cut a slit in it and then I'm going to set this like the raw edge of the egg, well, hive now, <laughs> set the raw edge down into that slip and I'm going to glue it down so that it won't fall over. And I think what I'm going to do is I have a bunch of that um, floral moss from Dollar Tree. I think I'm going to glue that down onto the foam as well. I think that'll look okay. So anyway, I'm going to continue painting this. And then I'm going to cut apart some of these flowers over here so that they'll be ready when I come back. And we will proceed further into decorating it. Okay, so I've got the little opening here painted on. That's probably going to take a few minutes to dry. And I've already got some of my flowers cut apart. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go up top here and start putting down the flowers and gluing them on. All the while trying to not get paint on myself. Pull my sleeves up a little bit. That would be smart. Okay. Now these flowers here have like a little stem that sticks up. And I just cut that off. And they're going to put a big old blob of hot glue. I want that sunflower to be kind of like right in the center there. And I'm not going to put a lot of flowers up top. I think I want the majority of the flowers to kind of be here on the bottom. And then we have, um, well, there's so many pretty little flowers here. And I really like these blue ones. So let's try to take those off. I should have already had this taken apart. I said I was, and then I didn't do it. Let's move this down. There's a few more flowers flowers leaves goodness gracious i know what flowers are i promise you know what i'm gonna cut these apart put that there and right here now as far as these little bees i think i'm gonna put the bees on last because they're kind of heavy and i'm gonna be using e6000 to stick them down and y'all know the e6000 takes a good long time to dry. Do I want that there? No, I don't think I want that on there. Where's that other one? Here we go. Anyway, yeah, the E6000 does take a pretty good long time to dry. 
set up, <laughs> whatever you want to say. So um, I'm going to leave that till last once I get everything put together. And then we'll glue the bees on because then it's going to have to lay flat for a good long time. All right, let's see. I think I'll just put this other blue one on there too. Boink. All right, this is a fun part, watching me glue things. <laughs> so I'm going to get this top part put together. And then... I'm going to leave it alone a little bit and let this glue set up. Not the glue, the paint. Good Lord, Amber. Okay, let's put some glue right there. Okay, let me raise it up. Yeah, that looks okay. Make sure these leaves, you can see them in the back there. Okay. Now, like I was saying about this paint, right around the edge of it, and we'll take the rope. And you know what? I think I'm going to start gluing it kind of right over here. That way the two edges where they meet, I can have maybe like a little B angled right there at it. So that you don't really see where the edges come together. I'm just putting the glue like right around the outer edge of the circle that we painted. And this takes a minute. All right, just like this. And on around. Uh-oh, my rope is stuck. Quit it. There we go, right around. My little boy's got his TV going. He likes his alphabet shows. I hope y'all can't hear that. Because he's only watched it like six times today. About to drive me crazy. All right. Oops, I need another glue stick. Don't you hate that? Like when you're working and you don't realize that your glue is running out. Okay. So now, let's put those two ends together. And just let that set up. Get all those strings off of there. And hit it with a hair dryer if you wanted to, to just kind of blast them away. All right. So there's that. And like I said, we can take a little B and kind of put it right here in a little bit. And that will cover that little spot up. So, all right. I'm going to set that off to the side. And now here is the piece of foam that I was talking about. I should have already had the plastic off of this. Why didn't I? I don't know. Okay. It's going to be hard to see on camera but what i want to do is i'm just going to set it right down in there like press it down in there and then i'm going to take some of that floral moss and i'm going to glue the moss all around this and then take more of these flowers and just glue more flowers around there okay so let me work on that and then we'll come back and we will attach our little bees all righty so let's take a look at what i'm doing here I'm just taking my hot glue gun and just putting a bunch of glue on this foam. And I'm just sticking the moss down on it. As you can see, I took my little beehive here and I just cut a slit in that foam. And just kind of took a pair of scissors and like really carved down deep in there. And then I just set the little hive right down in that slit. And I put a whole bunch of hot glue right around the base of it just to kind of hold it steady. And now I'm just putting moss all over the foam, which this is going to take a minute, okay? This is going to take a while. I always put my foam, my foam, my moss in a little container. It's just kind of easier to work out of a little container, I think, than it is trying to work out of those tiny little bags they have it crammed down in. All right. So just covering this whole thing. I'm going to cover the front and honestly... Because I know where this is going to be sitting in my house. You're not going to be able to see the back of it. So I don't think I'm going to put moss on the back. But you know, if, if you know of a place where it's going to be sitting in your home. And somebody is going to see the back of it. And if you want to cover that part with moss. You know, go right on ahead. I just don't want to. 
But anyway, I'm going to cover the top of it with moss. And then, of course, the sides here as well. We'll cover all that up. And then I'm also going to put some flowers and whatnot on there to make it pretty. Oops. I hit my little tin. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go and uh, keep working on this. I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, I am back again. I told you this video is going to have a lot of breaks in it and I apologize. But anyway, I found this yellow flower and I glued it down right there so that when I put this little bee guy down right there, it looks like he is collecting his pollen. Alright, so I got a good amount of hot glue right here. And actually, this was three rounds of me just building up the glue, let it dry, solidify. Look at all that paint. Put a little bit more and let it solidify. So now I was going to water down my yellow paint, but I did find uh, this color here. It's called Yellow Flame. And it's kind of pale. And I think it's going to do just fine for what I need. So I didn't want like a big bright, you know, like yellow, like boom in your face. And I've got this tiny little paintbrush here. And so just very, very carefully, I'm going to go in and just paint this glue to look like honey right, right there and this is I'm pretty certain this is going to take a couple coats I'm going to put some thin coats just like that just kind of bring it down to where the glue is like it ran down <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say I just put a bunch of hot glue in there and then I let it run down I didn't want it to drip all the way down, so as it ran down to where I wanted it to be, then I just tilted the whole thing back, and I kind of blew on it to get it to set up so that it looked like it was dripping, but not, you know, running all over my moss and my flowers. Excuse me. I'm trying to not hiccup. I've had the hiccups, like, all day. All right, switching hands here. Let's just get in there, paint it like that. Okay, and yeah, I should have done this before I put all the flowers on, but you know what? Hey, <laughs> it's all right. So let's let that dry, and then I'll put on another coat, so that won't take long. But anyway, like I said, um, I'm going to, because this is not going to be moving around a lot, I might just set the little guy right there. I might put some hot glue on his legs and set him down, I don't know. Because I've only got a little bit of E6000 left. But let's get this out of the way so I can show you what I'm going to do with the other little bee. And then I will go ahead and not film anymore. I've already taken up enough of your time. See, I'm just laying this flat down and the round part is hanging off the edge of the table. But I'm just going to take some E6000 or, you know, whatever glue that y'all have that is like E6000. And I think I'm going to cut these off. And I'm just going to set it right there because I don't think these little rounded edges, I just don't think that they look good. Okay, so I think I'm going to maybe trim this off a little bit. And I want to just set it down so they just kind of over the edge of the rope here. And then I'll glue him down. So just like that. But anyway, that is basically all that there is to this. Thank goodness, right? Because this video has been long enough. But anyway, that's going to be that. I will get it all set up. And you've seen it at the very beginning of the video. So I'm going to end it here. <laughs> if you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.